Hi everybody, I'm Kirby Bridges for EssentialTennis.com and this is Ask Kirby where you write in the questions and I deliver the answers. So today we're going to be answering a question from Tennis Man. And he writes, hey Kirby, mental toughness is something I struggle with a lot when playing tennis. I struggle quite a bit when I'm playing singles. I get tight and I don't hit like I usually do. What would you suggest on building mental toughness? Just keep playing matches over and over? Thanks, Peter. Okay, Peter, so playing matches over and over to establish that mental toughness is the tried and true way that you're going to get better. Of course, because eventually you'll have played enough that you can really sit back and rely on that experience and go back into that mental bank, think about what worked, what didn't, and you can grow yourself that way and be more confident. So on that note, um, in order to grow your mental toughness, I would say first and foremost, start off with your confidence. So building the confidence is so key. Whatever that means for you to really look internally and do some soul searching so that you can build confidence, um, that is going to help you so much to just be stronger on court. For me personally, I remember when I was a junior and I was playing a match and I went through, granted, I was like 11 years old, okay? So don't make too much fun of me. But I had a, th a three set match that I was playing down in the plaza in Kansas City. And every time, every single game, I got up 40 love and I would lose the game. That's just, and it's just ridiculous. So I went home and my coach made me start kind of faking it till I made it. So I had to say these, these things that were ridiculous to me. And, and, um, and you know, I'm the greatest, I, can, I got this, I'm the greatest. And, and so 11 year old Kirby would, you know, before I'm serving, I'm like talking to my coach, like I'm the greatest, I got this. And then I'd serve. Um, whatever it is that helps you to improve that, that self-talk is going to improve your confidence tremendously and that will catapult your mental toughness when you just feel your self-reliance building and you really internally know that you can do it. So that's going to be a huge factor in helping that. Um, but also it's gonna depend on what goals you have. So if, you're, if your goal is to you know, include, or to improve, sorry, your, your results or your rankings, then yeah, you need to play more matches and you need to be able to get used to that feeling over and over and over again. Um, but if you are a player that just simply likes to play in practice, then you know, that, that changes and your mental toughness is, is a little different because you're working on a much um, lower pressure arena. So um, in your practice though, you can really add to your focus by thinking about putting yourself into critical points, even when you're not playing them. So mentally you can put yourself there and pretend that this point has a lot on the line or that every point has something really at stake you know whether that means that somebody's going to come and burn your village or something whatever helps you mentally you know just take it and run with it but yes it put these practices into your practice so that your matches um, will translate into better results um, the third thing is practice hitting out on the ball so in your matches, we're, mo we're so likely to shorten the swing and then open the racket face so that the, that ball ends up landing short in the court and that sets us up for disaster, of course, because it puts our opponent in such an offensive position and we don't want that to happen. So instead, practice relaxing yourself, relax your body and really hitting all the way out through the ball and being loose. So bring your expectations down and know that you're going to miss. Know that you're going to lose. This is tennis. Everybody loses, even the number one guy in the world. So get used to it 
and be okay with it and just know that this is what it's going to take to get better. So relax your body and hit out on the ball when you're in your matches. That will also help you. Um, finally, something that will help your mental toughness, um, something that I wish that I would have had when I was competing would be meditation and yoga. So meditation for me has become a really big part of my life um, to put my mind at ease and, and really work on clearing my head and focusing better. So off court, this really, really helps. And you can, there are so many YouTube videos um, out there that you can find your perfect one anyway. Uh, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour long, it, it's all out there for you. So finding these meditations, that's really helpful. And then adding the mental side and putting a physical component together with it through yoga, that's a really good way to improve your mental toughness also. So I really hope that these tips have been helpful to you and you can start implementing them into your life. Um, if you need more information and you or someone that you know has trouble with their mental game on the court, you can always go to mentaltennismastery.com where we offer three free videos on the mental side of the game. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. Um, if you want to keep the conversation going and you have more questions, I would love to answer them. So please put those in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Keep swinging. For hundreds of free digital tennis lessons, head over to EssentialTennis.com right now. More wins and more fun on the court is right around the corner. You'll even get a free gift just for stopping by. Simply click the link at the top of any page.